Hello, good day. Um, you are welcome back to this channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, I want to say that we love you. We love you for you know staying with us all this while. If this is your first time on our channel, do it to click the subscription button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell, and you'll be notified of every one of our videos. Um, today I want to do a quick video, a real quick one. Um, it was actually an instruction from God. Um. I failed God last night, yeah, and when I, I woke up, God just laid this in my heart too, that I need to do a video on um, at, on the moment that we fail God, what do we do, what should our response be, how should we um, respond to it when you fail God, probably for example, you, um, you made a commitment to God, let me use that one because that was where I defaulted You made a commitment to God, for example, that you are going to be praying every night by 12 a.m. And then one night you just <laughs> you just woke up and you looked at your clock and it was 4.30 a.m. Or you made a commitment to pray and then you, you woke up, you stood up at that time because you set your alarm You woke up, maybe you now um, stepped out into the sitting room and um, you started mumbling some things and at some moment you just felt that ah, let me sit down i can sit down to pray and you sat down you just from sitting down you lay down you just told yourself you could pray while lying down and before you knew it you zoomed up and by the time you were, you were waking up again it was already 5 a.m maybe that was what happened or um let's say um the holy spirit laid it in your heart to talk to someone about jesus christ to create the good news to somebody and you kept on procrastinating, you kept on shifting it forward, you kept on moving it further in your mind. You are thinking, I'm looking for opportunity, or you are, you are afraid of, of what the outcome would be. And then all of a sudden, you just hear of the death of that person. You hear that this person has passed on. And this is a true life story, um, not my story, um, someone's story, a friend of mine. Um, he shared it one day and you know god instructed him to reach out to somebody and he kept on delaying he kept on delaying kept on delaying until all of a sudden the person was gone the person was dead so we all have you i believe you failed god before so we all have our stories your story may be um failing god in the aspect of a sinful habit let's say um, you made a commitment to God that ah this masturbation, this pornography, I'm not going to go back to it. And then you were feeling good. And then first day passed, you did not go back. Second day passed, third day passed. But on the fourth day, you stole some gla glances. And from stealing some glances, you fell right in back to where you were before. And then you are like, oh God, what is this? What is this thing about? Why am I always failing? Or it may be that um, you had a dream, you slept and you had a dream and you are the kind of person that, you know, um, God speaks to you through dreams and you had this dream that, um, a kind of bad dream about someone and maybe about your um, your sibling, about your, um, your parent or something like that and in that dream something terrible happened to that person and you just knew that you needed to take charge you needed to, to do something about that, you needed to pray, you needed to rebuke the devourer, you needed to, to rebuke the devil and then you just woke up and maybe because you are in a haste to go to work or something, something you just forgot about you know praying, praying for the person or rebuking the dream and just went off to work or you did a, a, a religious prayer um, minus, minus Satan plus Jesus kind of prayer and, and then you are off and then later to discover that what you dreamt about happened now how do you handle those moments of failures that, that's what exactly what god um put in my heart to talk about so what's my story so i made this commitment sometime last month right sometime last month to, that i'm going to be praying in the night like 12 a.m or there about um about a particular issue um i had a time frame from that time to um, early May or something like that. So um, I made that commitment to God and last night I just slept and I <laughs> I was waking up intermittently and sleeping back. So when I finally woke up, it was uh, it was about um, 4.30 a.m. And I really felt bad. You know, of course, this is not the first time it's happening. At some point, at some other times during this short interval, I woke, I'll, I'll wake up, I'll pray a little and I'll sleep back, wake up a little and I'll sleep back and for this today's own it was, <laughs> I 
I just woke up by 4 30 so and um I was like what what is this? Why is this thing happening? And you know I felt really bad, I felt bad. But um something happened. Um while I was you know doing that it just um struck me that instead of wasting more time going over the failure why not start praying do you understand instead of wasting time um kind of beating yourself up ah i did not i did not start when i wanted to start or i woke up i slept bad and all that god must be really angry why not just start the prayer and that was what god laid in my heart and i did and i had some beautiful time and um so what god wants to pass across is on probably you are there and your failure has caged you for years for months for weeks for days because sometimes it can be crippling and that's where the devil wants to get us into where we are crippled by our failures where we are crippled by guilt you know guilt is one 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 weapon of the enemy he uses it more often than not it's a weapon in the hands of the devil guilt you see guilt you see guilt guilt is not from god guilt is not from god god does not work with guilt he works with um conviction the 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 tool of the holy spirit is conviction the tool of the devil is guilt so once you start feeling guilty is the devil but if you are feeling convicted, is, is the Holy Spirit. So conviction will bring you to, to a better path. Why guilt will keep you down on the ground. So the, 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 the issue is now, what do I do when I fail God? What do you do? Now, if the failure is um, maybe a failure in your commitment, like I just cited an example, you wanted, you, you told God that every night you woke up to pray and one night you didn't wake up, you woke up in the morning, ask God to help you, ask God for strength. Don't allow that singular failure to, to make you feel as though you cannot do it again. Because sometimes we feel that, that when we fail once, it means that we cannot do what we are proposed to do. It is not true. It is not true. The scripture will say that the righteous falleth seven times and yet he riseth up again. So that you failed once does not mean that you are not capable of doing what you have committed yourself to do. So probably you've committed yourself to maybe read your Bible every day and you know the first day you didn't meet up, second day you didn't meet up. It, do, it, it, is not, it, it, it does not mean that you cannot. So don't allow that those failures to now make you say, ah, nah, this thing is not for me, let me go on with my life. That's number one. So once you make a commitment to God and you fail in some aspects, you know, ask God for strength and fire on. Now, if the commitment you made is is, is for is over a sinful habit, um, probably you um you are involved in pornography, masturbation, and then you you have been convicted by the Holy Spirit and you told God, God, I pray and I commit myself to you that I am not going to do this again and you find out and later on you find out that you somehow somehow you stole a glance somehow somehow you still masturbated now don't allow the devil to cage you in and say it is not possible for you to come out no matter how far you went after your commitment, you can still come out again. So the attitude we should have, the attitude we should have, the attitude you should have is the attitude that never gives up. Oh, this happened yesterday. I am pressing on today. Oh, I did not wake up yesterday to, to pray. I am pressing on today. Oh, I, 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 I stole a glance at, at pornography. I will not steal a glance today. So that attitude of pressing on is what God wants you to have. It's what God wants you to have. You know, some persons, um, some persons you have fornicated. And because of that singular mistake that you, you, you made, the devil be, you used it to cage you and brought you into the bondage of fornication. That may be your story. So you 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 um you were that good Christian, you were that good believer that um something something happened, you went to visit a sister, your sister came to visit you, and somehow somehow um 
the lights went off, the things, you know, there was cold and all that, and somehow, somehow, you guys fell into um, the scene of fornication. And because of that singular act, the devil now used it to cage you. And today, you are the, the mother of fornication. You are the father of fornication. My, the message that God has for you is that it ought not to be so. It ought not to be so. Sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we we, we, we fall into sin. Sometimes we, we do not keep our commitment to God. But God is saying, once you default, once you miss the mark, once you do not keep your commitment, once you fail, do not run away. Once you fail, don't run away. Rather, run to me. Oh, Shika Palatia. That is that is it right there. Once you fail, don't run away from God. Run to Him. Hmm, I have to say it again. Once you fail, don't run away from God. Run to Him. Because it is in Him that you will find the strength to keep going. It is in Him that you will find um, um, the forgiveness for your sin. It is in Him that you find you know, you know, the, 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 the help of the Holy Spirit. That is exactly... Because... Uh, you are not the only one that, that has failed oh you are not the only one the people that you are admiring that you that, that are standing tall in faith today they failed some time ago but had it been they they let those failures keep them on the ground they wouldn't be where they are today apostle paul failed yes apostle paul yes he failed so when we read the book of philippians which is where i'll be ending from um, I'll be ending with Rada, the book of Philippians chapter 3. He made a statement and that statement I believe is not just a, a positive statement. Um, he talked about um, pressing on, looking and... Um, okay, let me just read this. Ephesians chapter, I say Ephesians, Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13. And it says, Brothers and sisters, I know that I still have a long way to go. You see, Apostle Paul, he said, I know that I still have a long way to go. So he was saying, I know that there are still some things that I'm not getting right. I know that there are still some things I need to press into. I know that there are still some things I need to enter. There are still some realms and dimensions I still have to enter. He said, I know these things. I know these things. I know, I know. I know that I'm not perfect. I know that I've not gotten there. I know, I know, I know, I know. Now he now says, um... Uh, I know that I still have a long way to go, but there is one thing I do. That was a secret. That was his secret. He said, "There is one thing I do. I forget what is in the past and try as hard as I can to reach the goal before me." He said, "I forget what is in the past. What is it that is in the past? The past success he has had, the past failures he has had, the past glory he has had, the past shame he has had. So, it's the past is a mixture of glory and shame. The past is a mixture of successes and failures." And Apostle Paul was saying, "I do not." Don't let them affect me because success can affect your, your, your future too. Failure can affect your future. But Apostle Paul was saying, I forget what is behind me. I forget the good I have done in the past and I do not allow the bad I have done in the past to keep me down. He said, I press on every day towards the goal that is ahead of me. So that should be our approach. That should be our approach. So are you are you are you struggling with a particular sin? Your approach should be that every day I strive forward, I strive, I strive. If I fail today, I will not fail tomorrow. God you will help me. Not saying that since I have failed today, there is no more hope for me. And there is someone listening. Over the, the, the last couple of months, you've had this guilt 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 feeling in your in your heart. You did something that was wrong, you committed the sin that was wrong and and from that time to this moment, you've not had a smooth fellowship with God. God wants me to tell you that a broken and a contrite heart, He will not cast away. He wants me to tell you that once you ask Him for forgiveness, for mercy, He extends His mercy to you. He extends His forgiveness to you. And not only that, He forgets what you have done. Yes. So once you ask God for forgiveness, he forgives you and he forgets. It's scriptural, the book of Hebrews. He said, I will remember your sins no more. Do you understand? So what you require is a, a, a repentance 
from the depth of your heart you are coming to the throne of mercy to the throne of grace and you are asking god father i obtain mercy for this sin and i i find grace to help me in the time of need do you understand? So don't allow the devil has been tormenting you with guilt, with guilt, with guilt, with guilt. Because of that guilt, you cannot come before God. You cannot even open your mouth to pray again. Every time you open your mouth to pray, you are asking for mercy. Yeah? And it's been months. You've been asking for mercy. You've not, pro you've not made progress in your work with God. And you've been asking for mercy, saying, God wants you to know that with a broken and a contrite heart he will not despise so as you have asked him for mercy from a broken heart from a contrite spirit he had he has helped you he has forgiven you and he has made you whole he has you have been washed again by the blood of jesus and you can make progress in your work with god yes the love of god is real that's the love of god it can only be the love of god it can only be the love of God. It can only be the love of God. Yes, so you are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. Rise up, take your mat, go home. You are healed. Oh, Shamala Kapala told you. Can you just begin to go to God in prayer today? Go to God in prayer, ask Him for grace to be able to handle your failures. Because failures can cripple somebody. Failures, 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 failures. They can cripple someone. Failures can cripple someone. Can you ask God, give me the strength to handle my failures? In the name of Jesus, the times I have failed you, oh God, let those failures not keep me down. In the name of Jesus, I will rise again. <laughs> ah, the scripture says that the righteous, they fail fall seven times they fall seven times yet they rise again so your that you fail is not the end of your story that you fail is not the end of your story where your story will end is if you don't rise again he says he falls seven times but he rises again don't allow the enemy to keep you down don't allow him to pin you on the ground with guilt rise up today in the name of jesus having an understanding of the love of god having an understanding of the of the of the commitment of God to your progress to your growth uh, go ahead and ask God uh, oh Jesus the times I have failed you have mercy upon me and grant me the grace to keep up with my commitment grant me the grace to keep up with following you in the name of Jesus we have prayed now I'll pray for you I will make declarations over you in the name of Jesus I declare that the love of God is made manifest in your heart. In the name of Jesus. The scripture will say, Oh, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called and the children of God. He say, What manner of love? In the name of Jesus, you will begin to experience the dimensions of God's love, deeper and higher dimensions of God's love. In the name of Jesus, God's love is made manifest. It's shed abroad in your heart by your spirit. It is made manifest in your life. In the the name of Jesus, uh, the love of God gains expression, gain, 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 gains, gains, um, um, gains a, 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 a hold of your heart. In the name of Jesus, uh, you are not going to be kept down by guilt. Uh, in the name of Jesus, your failures will not keep you down. You rise uh, onto a new, uh, into a new strength. Uh, you rise uh, to a new level. You rise in the name of Jesus. Kasule parata te shaga da bando si vere ke peloto je ke pele su vere ka pala go fresi si fele to ko peli krahasia re soto poko to vi ke pele ka para hasia ta re pre ko feti e so vere ka para ka to zele kambri ti frahan to lobotokosia um there is someone god is saying that the reason you don't make commitments to him is that you are afraid of failing the reasons you don't make commitment, you say, ah, I don't want to make commitment to God, I don't want to, to say I'm going to be praying every night, is because you are afraid of failing, of failing God. And God wants me to, to let you know that you can go ahead to make commitments to Him. Even if you fail, He will not kill you. If you fail, stand up and fire again. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you for joining us today.
I believe you've been blessed. I believe you've been blessed. Do where to share the video. Do where to make your comments at that time that you felt God. I want to share to encourage someone. Go ahead, share it in the comment box and also share how you overcame or if there's any question you have, go ahead to you know put it down there on the comment box. Share the video. Let it get to as many people as possible. Let them be blessed with this blessing of the Lord. Thank you. God bless you and see you in our next video. Um, yes, every Saturday we pray by 10 p.m. Do where to join us every Saturday by 10 p.m. We are live and we are praying. We are live and we are praying. Thank you. God bless you. See you in our next video. Bye. I love you.